Hi guys, this is Yang and Dodre. So the May weather has been terrible. Um, the heat wave is ridiculous. Um, and I find that a glass of cold ice drink in the middle of the day really helps. But you know what? I keep running out of ice cubes in my fridge. So if you don't have an automatic ice maker in your fridge and you're constantly running out of ice cubes because somebody keeps taking them, what can you do? For me, we got a tabletop automatic ice maker. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today on Check It Out with Yang Lin and Doje. So as I was saying, I don't have an automatic ice maker in my fridge, so I decided to get the next best alternative, which is a tabletop ice maker. I found this on Lazada. It costs about $160, um, but if it helps to give me more ice cubes throughout the day, I think it's a great investment. Okay, so this is what's inside the package. Then we lift off this sheet and voila! We have a tabletop automatic ice maker. The switches are up at the top and I guess this is where you open to extract your eyes. Okay, so that is here a basket with a little ladle for you to scoop up your eyes, which is kind of nice. Very well secured. Okay, so I'll take you on a short kind of quick look inside and you know get a more details on how this thing actually works. What happens works. is you actually pour the water straight like you see there's a little little pool at the bottom you pour the water right to the maximum line and then the ice gets made right in the middle section here i see this little like a uh, flat thing so i think that the ice once it's made from the back, it will get pushed out through this little flap and then it drops into the tray. Yeah. So the water goes beneath the tray, goes into the ice making portion, and once it's done, it gets popped up at the top into the tray. And I guess that's how you can get a constant kind of supply of ice. I love it, I love it, and I can't wait to use it. Alright guys, so we're back now. It's been about 10 minutes and we've got our first um, batch of ice. It's really exciting. So okay, before I show you the ice cubes, um, if you can hear what's happening now, the motor is running. There's, it's, there's not a lot of heat given off, so I wouldn't worry too much about the heat level. It's definitely not, say, as noisy or as uh, hot as the kind of heat that a refrigerator, a full-size fridge would give off. Yes, hi! So Dodger is really excited too, because Dodger loves to eat ice cubes. Bring it up. Yes. Right, Dodger? Aren't you impressed by this? 
Okay, so aside from the noise level, um, I have to say that it makes the large ice cubes in about 10 minutes, which is quite fast. And I'm just waiting now to see if it's even faster if I choose the small ice cubes option. Um, take a little peek. It's really nice. Isn't it dodging? Okay, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm sorry for the dirtiness, but I'm um, just gonna take one ice cube out. Okay, so this is the size of a huge, a large ice cube that it's able to make. Dodgy, don't you like this? Okay. So I think it's a great invention for people who don't have uh, the automatic ice makers in the fridge. I personally kind of, I used to have a fridge that came with an automatic ice maker, but the problem is uh, once the ice maker portion breaks down, it, you kind of got to shut down the entire fridge just to get the electrician to come in and take a look at it or to get it fixed. So I think it's a much safer or more practical alternative to just get an ice maker by itself like that. This is really home-sized. Um, I like that it's not too noisy as well. And uh, size-wise, it, it's, it's the size, I would say, of a standard rice maker. So if you have a rice maker at home, I guess you probably will be able to have this machine here too. For $160, I think it's um, quite a good investment. It looks well made. The exterior is made with stainless steel. It is made in China. Naturally, most things are these days. But it seems to be really well done. I hope it can last me a long time. Um, there's very little maintenance involved. I guess, aside from just topping up the water every day or so. So it takes about two liters of water right into this portion and it goes to the back and then the ice pops up the front once it's done. Uh, I will let you guys know how much ice it can make out of two liters of water. But I, I suppose it would be about, you know, this much of ice because that's about how big the basket, the ice basket inside is. I also see a little sensor on the side which helps to tell you when this box is full of ice and this i guess the, the light will turn on and you just got to take it out and re empty out the ice bucket and it's good to make apparently up to 10 cycles of ice um, before completely shutting down because there's just too much ice cubes inside yeah so operation wise it's quite good and um, I'm just sad that I didn't get this thing earlier in the May period because I would have really appreciated the extra ice, as would he. Right, Doji? Okay, so that's about it for this episode of Check It Out with Young Lim. Sorry, I thought, oh, do you hear that? We've got our second batch of ice. And that took like, in, in the time that I was just doing this uh, clip. So that's quite exciting. Dodge, you hear that? Let's, let's see how much ice we have. Oh, look, okay. Ah. Beautiful. Again, I'm sorry I'm so dirty. Um, do not do this at home with your pets. Always wash your hands before touching ice cubes. But I just can't help it. So that's it for me and Doge. I'll see you again at the next Check It Out with Young Lin.